Now, I've got a tour secret for you today. On Challenge Thursdays, I'm gonna share with you, as well as with a tour player, a tour secret. This is all about how you can prepare better, how you can play better, and ultimately how you can play better golf out on the golf course. So let's head straight to it. Now, as well as that, at the end of the video, we have a challenge for you that's gonna really improve your driving from the tee. Welcome to Alex Elliott Golf. If you are a brand new viewer, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, as well as if you're enjoying all this content, hit that thumbs up down below. Now, we've got a question for you. How many times do you play holes out on the golf course and you feel like you don't actually get anything from it? Well, this is gonna solve it for you. Comment down below. This tour secret starts on the tee and it involves a card. Now, we've done something similar to this on the channel before, but this is completely different. Right, Tom, so we've done something similar to this on Instagram, didn't we, that we both shared, but we got a good response, so we thought we'd share it on a fuller YouTube video. So we've got a T, we've got a Y, we've got a W and a C. So the T is for the T shots, the Y is the yardage, so it'd be the second or third shots, W for the wind, and C for the club, just to make it really simple. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do on the tee to begin with? So on this hole, I'm going to put the wind, which yep. is off the right, and then D for driver, because that's what I'm going to hit now. Okay, cool. Let's hit it away, and let's give them a few reasons why it's important to do the tee shot, and then we'll get on to the second shots as well. So as you've guessed by now, I'm playing with Tom Murray. Remember, I used to caddy for Tom. So this is uh, going back to the uh, good old days of yeah, uh, ratting. And I guess what we're doing, what we're doing with this uh, challenge with you today is, and we've showed you what we've done from the tee shot, is giving you a snippet to what we did every day. Yeah, absolutely. So done the tee shot, what would you say, give me two benefits of actually recording the tee shot, recording the wind that can benefit these guys? Well, certainly for guys that play like at the home club every, say, in the Saturday medal, you can build up sort of a pattern of, oh, you know what, this club off this certain hole, it's not working this, or, oh, yeah. it really is working. Um, you might realise a pattern that you, you, didn't re you didn't know or... I think really on that, of. most people almost go automatic, don't they? They get to, say, the 13th, the 12th, whatever it is, and they just go, oh, I always hit driver here. Absolutely. And well, it, you, it, might, you might realise that it's the wrong, the yeah, wrong club choice. Yeah, exactly. And second one, second point? Um, just a bit of clarity, really, on the tee, yeah. tee shot. At least you know you've got all the information you need. Not a lot, but you know the wind, you know what club. You're like, right, OK, let's just execute. Yeah, I like that. Right. Okay, so you've seen the first half of this challenge. And what I want you to do, if you feel this is something that you could add to your game, just the driver part, I want you to put yes and comment yes down below, as well as hitting that thumbs up button. Okay, I'm off to the left, Tom's down the middle. So all this content, guys, is something that you can expect on mine and Tom's trips. I know some of you have seen it, TA Golf Experience on Instagram, and if you've not, go over and check that out. We've got a trip going out at the end of February, and it's all about helping people improve predominantly on the golf course. Yeah, like course management, course strategy, um, big improvements can be made there. So. And I, we, we believe that this is something that is not really taught that much in the UK, maybe where you're from, but we're heading out to Portugal for four days, heading to the Panina Golf Resort. If you want more information on that, I'll leave my email down below, but be sure to head over to the TA Golf Experience Instagram account, and I'll leave that down below as well. Team, as people have seen the wedge by now, what's the story behind the wedge? Um, well, the man behind the wedge is called Will Harvey from Vokey. He's the, the magic man. Um, the Norway flag, 
I've just got a thing for Norway. Yeah, um, come on, we all know why. Yeah, Ole Gunnar. Um, stems from him. Oh, United um, doing, by the way, Paul. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, less of that, let's go on to the next shot. So we're now down at the second shot, so it's now time to talk through the Y, the W and the C. And like we said so far, it gives you clarity over the golf ball, and you're going to start to work out good habits and bad habits on certain holes. That's valuable information, and this is all stemmed from when, when me and Tom used the caddy, the guys that are on tour week in, week out, the guys at the top, the guys on Challenge Tour, this is something that they do to make them play their best golf. So surely we should be adding this to our game as well. If people have forgotten what the Y, the W and the C stand for, just remind us quickly. Y, yardage, win, uh, W for wind and C for the club. Okay, so what have we got here, yardage? So we fill in the first column, we've gone with the driver and the wind for the T. We're now moving the next column along for Y and how far is that? got 113. So if you use your bushnell to get that. Yes. If you guys have got a watch or you have front, middle and back, I would just, my, my advice to you is, and I think Tom would agree with me on this, I would just go for middle of the green for most guys and yeah, put that absolutely. number down there. Yeah, yeah. Most, most greens in England are quite small and yeah. you'd be relatively close. Yeah, and if, you, if you're middle of the green, then you're never going to be far away from the flag here. Okay, so W, is that for wind again? Yeah, that's wind and we've got it into off the right now. Okay, so that's going to make, the, especially now it's cold, that's going to make it play a little bit longer, right? Yeah, I think that's uh, a factor that a lot of guys would definitely benefit from looking into a bit more and sort of taking into account a bit more. Uh, like you say, especially in a cold sort of Manchester winter, it affects it a lot. Cool, so what club are you going with? I've got a pitching wedge, or 46. Perfect, okay, let's see it, and then let's give you another reasons, guys, why you should be adding this to your game. And how long will that take us? What? 10 seconds because I think a lot of the people's stumbling block on this will be the fact of how long it takes to do so we've now hit our second shots this is a reminder that there is still a bonus part of this video Tom's going to give you a simple driver tip from the tour that you can apply straight to your driver game next time you play so we've talked about the two benefits from the tee give me two benefits from doing that as your second shot, your approach shot, or even your third shot into a par five? Uh, I would say it's almost more important than the tee shot um, yeah. because you can strategy-wise, like we said on the Instagram video last week, uh, like to a front pin, you can sort of play a bit sort of safer to the middle of the green, back pin, same sort of bit shorter. So you know exactly what yardage you're trying to hit it. Yeah. You know exactly what yardage you have hit it and with what club. So, you so can sort of, would you say it sort of gets you more into the shot and less technical? Absolutely, and you, you know what, it's like 99% of people are better like that. Yeah, and that, that is something that I think a lot of people don't really realise. I think a lot of people think, oh, these tour players have plenty going on through their head, they can cope with it, they can, they can deal with a lot of swing thoughts. You're wrong. You, well, what do we used to have? We probably had one, possibly two thoughts yeah. max, like Maximum, absolute yeah. max. Um, I would say, and like, for example, on that shot then, I've got it into off the right. All I'm trying to do, knowing that with that club, with that yardage, is to get the what flight I need. So therefore, there's no swing thoughts involved and it produces a nice shot. So we're going for, again, a bit of clarity, importance of yardage is how far you hit it. And one thing I want to add to this is, if you know how far you hit your pitching wedge on an into out the right wind, if you get it down out the right, you know that's possibly one club less. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you then if you, if you keep doing this sort of hole after hole you'll build up a, a really good sort of pattern of yeah my pitching wedge goes x amount of yards yeah exactly so it's valuable 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 information because you actually find out how far it goes on yeah. the course yeah okay i hit it in the bunker tom hit it on the green let's finish this hole off and don't forget to stick around for the bonus driving tip common fault I see in amateurs when I play pro-arms or so. Um, so the ball position gets back a little bit and this leads to most people try and get it in, in the air and finish like this and that brings in right side and left side. So quick tip, make sure the ball's up in your stance, hit up on the ball with a big finish like Rory McIlroy. Will you try and pose that for three seconds say? Eh? Yeah. yeah. So we'll give it a go. 
So the ball up in the stance, about there. And a big high McElroy finish. So this is a massive thank you for watching today's video. Massive thank you for Tom for coming on, as well as the bonus tip. This is something that we believe we can challenge you to help you play better golf. Remember, take two cards out, one to record your score, but I'd say it's probably more important to record the shots than the score. Definitely. And I know that's important for competitions, but I think you'll get more absorbed into the card, more absorbed into hitting the shots, and that's always a good thing. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and thanks very much for watching.